Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi, Williams. Hi, Norma. Welcome. Flor, Eric, hello. Hi. Elmer, Juan. Hi, McDaniel, Hi. Walter, Jose Ramos, Francisco, and Diego. Excellent. Let's see. You guys ready? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Always ready. All right, guys. So I saw some of the comments on the um, this section that we're well with this exercise we're going to be working on today. We're still on section four. And if I'm not mistaken, because I don't remember the number, we are on four point four. Right? So I saw some of the comments already of people writing and I back. All right. So in case, for example, Eric, I saw your um, your comment on the discussion box all right and i also saw francisco's and i can, and diego i believe it was all right so i commented back so thank you so much for participating all right and i expect everybody eli rocio jose magdiel everybody to write something all right make sure that you write your name so i know that you guys are like being good students and you guys are participating on your own learning all right very good so today we're going to talk about something very, well, not easy, but something a little bit more relaxed, all right? We're going to be talking about phrasal verbs, which many people think is not a very easy topic because phrasal verbs, as such, they can be somewhat complicated because there are many, many, many of them, all right? But if you relax, then it's going to be okay. All right, so, Rocio, nice to have you back, Rocio. Estando mal, Rocio. Se me pierde por día, Rocío. ¿Qué le pasa? Y me oye, Rocío. Ay, ay, ay. ¿Qué es How are you? Fine, fine, thanks. Excellent. All right, Rocío, just give me a second. I just need to... There we go. There we go. All right, okay. So here we have, guys, we have the phrasal verbs, and this is what we're talking about. In case you have seen the platform that I know some of you did because you already commented on the discussion box and that's the whole idea. These are some of, very few actually, of phrasal verbs that we can find in life because there are many, all right? Plenty of them, all right? So in this case, we're going to study these particular ones, but I'm gonna show you a PowerPoint uh, after this. And you're going to see that there are many more. All right. So here we have three uh, word phrasal verbs. The one that we start is, is broken up with. Then we have come, uh, came up with, looking forward to, cut down on, keep up with, put up with, get along with, and take care of. All right. Mm -hmm. So if you notice, we have like about six or eight phrasal verbs. All right. And that this, like in this case, the platform wants us to learn. But of course, as I said, they mean like, I mean, there are many, many of them. All right. And I think it would be a very good idea that you start like learning phrasal verbs because they will help you out later. All right. So broken up with, um, let me see, Williams, do you understand that phrasal verb broken up with? Broken up with is like to cut. Uh huh. Cut with, cut with, uh, for example, a relationship. Okay. Okay. So to finish a relationship, right? Yeah. All right. Very good. So you say, oh, my sister broke up with her boyfriend. All right. So no more. They are no boyfriend and girlfriend anymore. They stopped dating. Right. Very good. Eddie, can you give me an example of come up with or came up with? Came up with, uh, let me see, let's, let's find out about that phrase mm -hmm. there. But in this moment, I, I can find it. Eric, is that your notebook? Come up. It's, yeah, I have a notebook, but okay. Excellent. No, Came that's okay. Up. Perfect. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, you may use it. I mean, you may use I, it. A, I don't know. I'm, I'm glad you did. Okay, I, I have a, <laughs> I have a book with a lot of uh, phrasal verbs. Oh, nice. Okay. But in this, one I can find that uh, came up with. I don't remember. I, I did my sentence with this. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. Yes. <laughs> All came right. Up with, came up with. 
All right, someone that wants to help no, Eric no, with that, uh, that's okay, with that phrasal verb to come up with. Guys, anybody? You guys are very silent today. Uh huh. Have ideas, teacher? Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. So, yeah. Very good. Thank you, Walter. So uh, she came up with a solution. She came up with, like, somehow she had an idea. All right, very good. Let's see. Elmer, are you there? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Thank you. Elmercito? Yes. Yes, here I am, face to uh -huh. face to face to you. <laughs> All right, Elmercito, give me, uh, give us a sentence with looking forward to. Looking forward to. Yes. Looking for, looking forward to my homework and made a discussion in the in the platform. All right. Okay. So you looking for. So in other words, Elmer, what would be for you? What would looking forward mean? It's, it's like a des, desire. I don't know what that is. Deseo, como deseo. A desire. Looking forward. Like a wish. Uh -huh. Sure, yes. you can say that. Okay, yeah, I'm looking forward. I hope to see you, for example, or I'm looking forward uh -huh. to the next class. Okay, all right. Uh -huh. Very good. Rocio, what about Pat look at, Looking for... Yes, I went. Like, like a... Yeah, look, uh, I... I can use in, in, the, in the same case, desires and... Um, uh, in a similar no. way, Elmer. In a similar way. All right. Yeah. For okay. example... What is the difference? Is desire? I, I don't look forward, for example. I don't look forward <laughs> I am not. Forward to, I am not. I am not looking forward, looking forward to... to make that task for a sure time. all right yeah okay uh, mm -hmm. okay. very good all right rocio cut down on please uh, cut down uh-huh what do you think it is you survive list of something. Uh huh. Uh, 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 put down on the request or something. All right. So, what would cut the uh -huh. budget? Uh huh. Uh huh. But cut we down have to on, put uh -huh. down on, on our budget. Okay. So in because, your own words, Rocio, uh -huh. Rocio, in your own uh -huh. words, what would cut down mean? Cut down on mean? Uh, use less of, okay. or sure. something. Or okay. something. Uh -huh. To reduce. reduce. Excellent. Uh -huh. Very good, Rocio. Uh -huh. Very nice. Uh -huh. All right. Magdiel, what about keep up with? Tell me in your own words, Magdiel, what do you think that means? Okay, uh, for me, keep up is like a, um, in Spanish, mantener. Okay. Mantenerse al, All like right. Uh, keeping up with the Kardashian. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, okay, so keep up with. Mm -hmm. Let's see want to add anything else to what Magdiel just told us? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. No, no, no. Uh, Ellie? Ellie? No, I, I was just no. asking Ellie if she could like help uh, tell us a little bit more besides what you told us. Hola, teacher. Hola, Ellie. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> uh -huh, Ellie. Did you pay attention? Me to... estaba escondiendo. No, ya, yeah, pues ya. <laughs> Did you pay attention to what Magdiel told us about keep up with? Yes. Uh-huh. So, uh, do you want to add anything? Like, for you, what keep up with means? Seguir. Uh, okay. Seguir. Okay. Seguir as in I follow you or seguir as in like I, I maintain myself on something? My thing, my thing, thing. Okay, all right, okay, very good. Okay, okay. let's see. Uh -huh. 
All right, very good. Let's see. Uh, who else do I have here? I have many people today. Eh, Williams, yo le pregunté, sí, ¿verdad? No. Yeah, right. Yeah, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I did. Yes, I did. The yeah, first I one. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Thank you. Diego, uh, let's see. Put up with. What does that mean to you? Uh, in Spanish, it's something like. No, I want to. I want to. I don't want to know in Spanish. <laughs> No, it's it's uh, like um like a support or something like that or like a hold on. Okay, support as in Spanish or support as in English? <laughs> no, no, uh, yeah, it's true. Forget that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how can explain that word. Maybe give me an example. Let's see if an example. For example, I can't put up with this quarantine. All right, very good. I hope that's not true. <laughs> All right, very good. Let's see. Uh, Norma, hi, Normita. What about I get along with? How can you explain that to us? What is that for you? Get along. Uh huh. Is when. When you have a good relation with yeah. another person, very good, right? In the, in the family or in the in the neighborhood or with the relatives. All right, very good. Yeah, so we get along with like everybody here in class, right? Very good. And the last one, thank you, Jose. Take care of. Take care of your friend. Uh -huh, Jose Ramos. Uh, hello. Uh, take it off is when you try to. Um, but I can I give you an example. Sure, go right ahead. Yes, of course. Uh, I always take it off my children because uh, they are they can damage. All right. Okay. Very good. So you take care of something. All right. Very good. If I mean these, I'm not gonna play the video because that's your job and you're supposed to do that all right and after like on the video you will find out the meaning all right so in case you really don't understand it you can play the video and the i mean they use a, the the phrasal verb within a sentence and then they tell you what they mean but that's not what i want i mean this i wanted to show you something else all right which is related to uh phrasal verbs all right so i want I, i'm gonna walk you through what phrasal verbs are although if you have been my student we have seen this before but this is just to refresh your memory okay so the powerpoint presentation on phrasal verbs okay so here we go can you see yes yeah. all right yeah. so yes this is the introduction this is like a very brief uh, introduction it says a phrasal verb is the combination of a standard verb such as make uh, or put with one or two particles. In some cases, the particle is an adverb, such as away, together, in order, it is a preposition, such as, in other cases, it is a preposition, preposition such as through or in. For example, pass away, pull together, go out, break. So, what happens is sometimes people see a phrasal verb. For example, you say, uh, I don't know, it break in. And they say, people say, oh, it's a preposition. No, it's not a preposition. It looks like a preposition, but it is called a particle. <laughs> phrasal, bless you. Phrasal you. verbs are, whoa, what happened? Can you see? Yes, I can see. Yes, yes. All right, very good. So phrasal verbs are made out of particles, not prepositions, all right? So make sure that you understand the difference. We're going to see some examples. What is a phrasal verb? A phrasal verb is equal a verb plus a particle. For example, put off. We have seen this before, I know. Put is the verb, off is the particle, all right? 
I put off my trip. I postponed my trip. I canceled. That's what it means, all right? Now, the particle looks like a preposition, but it does not function as a preposition. And we have two examples. He woke up at 6.30. A strangers woke him up. All right, so the verb and the particle have a special meaning. Remember, and I have said this before to some of my students, phrasal verbs are the meaning changes almost completely, if not always completely, from a normal verb. All right, so that's why it's very important for you to study phrasal verbs because they're like another family. All right, una cosa son verbos y otra cosa son phrasal verbs. And the meaning changes a lot, okay? What happens sometimes is that you understand the meaning of put, but you don't understand the meaning of put off. All right, you understand the meaning of put, but you don't understand it when it's put on. All right, okay. all right, so you need to know all those combinations because they mean something very different. Okay, are you okay with this? Yes? Yes, teacher. All right, very yes. good. Particles. Particles are part of the verb phrase and they often change the meaning of the verb. He looked, look at this one. We have two sentences here and this is what I was referring to before. He looked up at the skyscraper. Do you understand what a skyscraper is? No? no? It's a rascacielos. Mm. All right, a skyscraper. He looked up. O sea, que hizo esto? Yeah, he looked up. But that is not a phrasal verb. That up is really a preposition. Si yo le digo, look, Eric, look down. Digo, Eric, porque lo tengo aquí y lo veo. Can you look down on your, on your notebook? There you go. Yeah, you look down, all right? Can you look up? Very good. All right, so uh, thank you. So up is a preposition in that case. But it might look the same, but it's different, okay? The other sentence says, she looked up a word in her dictionary. No quiere decir que ella agarró el diccionario y se puso ver para arriba, ¿ya? Eso no quiere decir. Quiere decir que ella buscó una palabra en su dictionary. Si se fija, se escribe igual, all right? Pero el, el significado es totally different, ¿ya? Yeah? You understand that, guys? It depends yes. on, on the context. Yes. It depends a lot on the context, yes. All right, yeah. Oops, it's raining in my house. All right. In my country, too. <laughs> They're raining. In your country? <laughs> All right. In my house. Very good. All right. When you use the same verb with different particles, the meaning changes. Hágame un favor, Williams. Can you read it? Because the rain is very Okay, yes. Uh, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For example, changes. Changes. Oh, okay. That's okay. But plus of to postpone. Yeah? Yes, Put yes. plus on is to cover your body with clothes. Very good. Put that way to put something in its original place. Right. And put back to return something in this original place. Very good. If you notice, we're using put, 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 put. But one is with off, the other one is with on, the other one is with away, and the other one is back. And the meaning changes completely, all right? Another one here. Some phrasal verbs have more than one meaning, all right? And I know that you have seen this. Los niños que vienen conmigo de hace un poco a tiempo atrás, esto ya lo vimos. Walter, can you read? Waltercito. Hello, teacher. Walter, can you read this for me, please? Okay, okay teacher. Uh, some phrasal verbs have more than one meaning. Uh, for example, keep on, equal to continue, keep on, not to remove something, and take off, remove, and again, take off, leave. All right, so here, as Rocio was saying, these ones, that they are the same ones, like keep on and keep on, they 
mean different things and we have to like make sure that we understand everything else we understand the context and it will be i will it will be depending on the context and we understand the proper meaning all right so in these cases when the phrasal verb is the same even though i mean it's the same but the meaning is different even though they're using the same particle you need to read again and understand the whole context all right teacher yes it is raining on your house very hard okay i know it's like uh here again sorry <laughs> All right, let's see. Um, continue reading. Who can you get to read with for me? Francisco, can you keep on reading? Using phrasal verbs. Many phrasal verbs and one word verbs have similar meaning. Like cup, awoken, go awaken. on to continue. Awaken. awaken, go on to continue. Take off, remove. Russell are less formal and more common in everyday speech. All right. This is something I really want you to understand, all right? They are less formal. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining. We know. This is raining Very here hard. too. Phrasal <laughs> 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 oh, okay. verbs are less formal, but they are very, very common. Okay, so sometimes they are saying the same thing, but they are using a phrasal verb, and that is complicated for us because there are many of them. All right, so we need to study phrasal verbs a lot. Especially at this level, we're not basic anymore. All right. So whenever you like watch a movie or listen to a song, watch it because they might be using a lot of phrasal verbs. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's look at this one. Uh, Yes, teacher. Thank you. More example of phrasal verbs. Get up, abandon. Abandon. Turn up, turn up, produce. Carry on, continue. Put off, post home. I don't know. Turn down, reject. Look after, take care of. Get up, attain. Call up, visit, bring up, train to do, train to do work, call on, a brave visit to, put on, where. <laughs> Can you guys take a picture of that? She put on a new dress. Yes, teacher. <laughs> All right, so let's go to your room and then you work on the exercise. Okay. okay. Right.
You are my dear teacher. How are you? No le escucho. No le escuchamos. No, nada, nada. Tiene apagado el micrófono. No lo tengo apagado. Y porque a mí sí me escucha y vivimos en la misma en la misma vecindario. No, pero yo vivo a cabal abajo de la gran colina. Ay, yo cabal igual abajo de la gran piedra. Esta que está aquí. <risa> pero, pero ya ve que sí me escucha. Sí, ahorita sí. Vaya. Ahí está, my dear teacher. Mire, recibieron un, un, un ejercicio que les acabo de mandar vía chat. No he estado viendo el chat. Pues sí, todos Como me ignoraron. Este... No, a este... A esta hora nosotros estamos en clase, no estamos No, en chat. chat el Zoom, no chat en otro lado, niño. Ah, ah, ah no, 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 no lo hemos visto en el chat. Y revise. No. No ha caído nada, Ticha. No ha caído nada. Ah, vaya, espéreme. Lo que pasa es que ha de estar en el chat general de la reunión general, Ticha. ¿Cómo está? Pero no lo podemos ver. ¿Por qué? Porque no lo queremos a mentir. Lo voy a mandar al grupo. Right. Teacher, ¿cómo está bueno, está ¿verdad, esto? teacher? ¿Están bien? No, la número dos no. Tampoco la tres. A la puya. La 2 no está, no está buena, Tichi. Tampoco la 4. O sea, ni una. La 1 sí. <ríe> oh, my goodness. También la 5 no. Bye. Bye. <ríe> está jodido. Está jodido. Teacher. Hi. Teacher. Hi. Hi. <ríe> How are you? Fine, we finish. how are you? We, fin we finished this. Let me see it. Did you, did, you, did you do it? So I can check it. Yes. Yes. You want? Yes, I want to see. Can you say, teacher? I want to see it. Did you, did you do it? Did you type it? No, but we can, we only share the, the answers. Okay. Hold on. Okay. She All put right. on. Hold on, hold on. She put on a new, a new dress. I call on Harry in absence, in absence of his father. Hold on, Francisco, give me a second. Uh -huh. You must, you right. must ah, put off. No, it's another question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A ver, number, number one, Francisco, I'm sorry. Uh, number one, put on. Ah. The second, call on. Number two. Uh, call on. Call on. Hello? Number three. Give up. And number four. I will give give up. No. You are even in today. Give up. No. No. So number two and number four, no. Number five? The match has been looked after until tomorrow because of our weather. No. <laughs> so two, four, and five, no. Two, four, and five. Uh -huh. um, uh, two is, two is call, call on. Number two, call on. Uh huh. I will. I will call on. No. No. Mm -hmm. 
I'll uh, keep, keep on trying with Francisco. I'll be back, okay? I need to check on another group. Okay. Sorry. Have to have to get used to. Yeah. Hi, Rocio. Hi. Hi, teacher. Yes. Excellent. Is... Yay. Uh -huh. Very Thank good. you. Uh -huh. All right. Nice. Okay. Um. Let me. I'm gonna give me one more minute. We're gonna go back, and I'm, I want you to take a picture of another worksheet. Okay. Okay, okay, teacher. The thing is, like, okay. I cannot really listen because it's really raining cats and dogs here. <laughs> yes, yes. It's horrible. Yes. I won. One, one. I can help you playing a little bit in your next in your next build. But sometimes the customers are very upset. Yeah, right. Hi, teacher. Hello. Finished? <laughs> yeah, we finished. All right. Can you tell me number one? What's the answer? Yeah. Okay. Give me a second. My God, do you have the screen, Mary? Mary, get it? Um, okay. Uh, teacher, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, number one, uh, she she put she put on a new dress. Uh, number two, uh, I look after Harry in the abs absences of his father. Number three. Number three, you must you must give up smoking. Very good. Num number, number four. four? Okay, number four. I will. I will call on you. I will call on you at evening today. Yes. And number five. The match has been uh, put off until tomorrow because of bad weather. Very good. All right. Make sure that for number one, you have to say she puts on. All right. Yeah. You have the S on put. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Remember that phrasal verbs. Good song. Yeah. yeah. Phrasal verbs are like treated the same the same as verbs. Okay, so if it's third person singular, you need to add the s. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Well done. Mm. Hello. 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 All right, guys. So for, uh, we're going to check this one really quickly. We have for number one, she what? Anybody? She put on a new dress. She put on, right? She Remember put on a new dress. She put on yeah. a new dress. What about number two? I look after Harry in the absence of his father. I look after, right? Very good. Number three. You must give up smoking. You must give up smoking. Number four. I will call on you at the evening today. Excellent. I will call on you at the evening today. And the last one. Anybody? The match your... has been put off. The match until has tomorrow. been put off until tomorrow because of bad tomorrow. weather, like right now. Yeah. All right, yes. bad weather. All right, very good. I see. Let's see. I am the, going to, Yes? 
teacher, the class has been put off until tomorrow because <laughs> of the <our> weather. <laughs> All right, guys, I have this for you here. Again, uh, this is like extra for you. These phrasal verbs are only with get, okay? So I want you to take a picture of this right now. The phrasal verb is on the left, uh, left hand side column and the meaning is on the right hand all right so what is get ahead to progress so what is get along with to be friendly with get away to escape get back and so on all right so this is just a little bit more than the, the things that you're supposed to know with phrasal verb let's work on this right now because you cannot really hear me well so i want you to work with this one and then you have exercises here. There are only 12 sentences. Okay, so I'm going to send you back. Everything right now is with get. Maybe get into trouble, maybe get over, maybe get behind. I don't know. It depends on the sentence. This depends on the context. Okay? <coughs> so, did you take the first picture of this? Yes. 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 All right. Now take the second picture right there. Okay. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. So let's go back to our group. All right. And then we keep on working and then we'll come by and see how you're doing. Okay. Hi, Flor. Hi, hi. Hi, Florcita, no le salió la invitación.
que se mantenga caliente, mantenerse caliente y descansar lo ayudará a leer. Ah, no va, pero no tendría sentido. Vamos. Hi Diego, hi Flor, which number are you working on right now? Number five. Yes, number five. Hi teacher. Hi Flor. <laughs> I, I, in the five sentences. <laughs> okay, and saying you are in the garden. Okay. What do you think it is for number five? What is your answer? I I was thinking, teacher, about get over. Because get over, yeah. Uh, I, that's it. Uh, yes, very good. Thing. Thank you. Oh, okay. uh, thank you. Very thank you. good. Very good. What? We doesn't use the twelve. Yes, I finished. Hi, Williams. How you said? What number are you working on right now? We've finished. We have finished the job. Okay. We have finished everything. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Very good. All right. Very good. So uh, we're gonna go back and I'm gonna share the answer so you guys can check it, okay? Okay. okay. Hello? Hello? Hi, teacher. Hi. All right. Is everybody here? No, all right. Not yet. Everybody's coming. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, where's everybody? We don't have time. I know, I know. Jose's going to tell me. Hurry up. <laughs> nah. <laughs> all just... right, guys. It's okay, William. Hey okay, guys, uh, because of time, I'm going. I'm sharing right now the answers. So if you want, you may take a picture and check them in case you were able to finish. If you were not able to finish, try to do them by yourself and then double check your answer. Okay. Hello. Okay. 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 okay, okay. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. You may take a picture right get now over. before we go. To trouble. Get along. All right, guys. So I'm going to stop sharing. I hope you took a picture. All right. Mm -hmm. Try to like do them in case you were not able to finish. And then tomorrow we will finish section four. All right. So try right. to keep on advancing on the section. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you too. So much. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.